I'm inspired by my niece, um, who is very curious and loves stories. So she's had books since she was probably under one. And every time I see her, her one of her constant questions is, Nabu, tell me a story. You know, tell me a story. And of course, she doesn't necessarily want to hear the same story over and over. So I have to create stories and imagine stories and and tap into the stories of my childhood and stories I've been told and change them around to make them exciting. And sometimes I ask her for stories and um, her and her sister are incredible storytellers as well. They they have a wild imagination. Um, they have the intonation for it. And, you know, I they inspire me. Um, and I remember hearing stories from my childhood and they're stories that have stuck and even now, I, I'm i really intrigued by stories. I want people to tell me stories. I, I sit with my grandmother and ask her questions and tell her, tell me the story of how my mother was born. Tell me the story of how you got married. So those inspire me. I'm inspired by both spectrums. I think stories also allow us to understand the other um, and be more compassionate towards each other and be, be kinder um, and see the beauty of the world. But... Also, the other thing about stories is I think things are disappearing. I think our age is, everything is about now, now, now. Um, and we have content that disappears, you know, after a few seconds or after 24 hours, and things don't seem to last. So I like this idea of almost etching our existence into the sand or, or not even into the sand, into stone, so that it just doesn't disappear with the waves, that it's... It's there for generations to come, almost like when our ancestors drew on the caves. You know, they, it's, it's stories. They've been leaving stories behind for us. And, and it's almost saying, I was here. You know, I was here. I existed. So I think it's really, really important for us to leave stories behind for the generations that come, for posterity, for our kids and our, and our kids' kids, and to assert our existence, to say we were here.